Hey guys, my name is Christy Schultz. I am 22 years old and on February 5th of 2020, I was diagnosed with a cerebral venous sinus thrombosis. Um, so a cerebral venous sinus thrombosis, which is also known as a CVST, occurs when a blood clot um, forms in one of the sinuses in your brain and it prevents your blood from draining properly which can lead to um, like the leaking of blood out of your blood vessels and eventually leading to hemorrhage. So it's a really rare form of a stroke. Um, it occurs in about five in a million people. And in those five people that it does occur in, a, most of the cases are in either newborns from childbirth or it's in older adults and like elderly people. So it was kind of a rare diagnosis, or it already was a rare diagnosis, and then to be 22 and be diagnosed with it was um, even more weird. <laughs> um, so I guess some backstories behind how I got diagnosed. Um, I've been a headache person ever since 2015. I had a concussion, and I've just had headaches ever since then. But usually they're really manageable. Usually I'd take Tylenol, ibuprofen sleep, drink caffeine, they'd go away. And the difference is with this, my headaches wouldn't go away. It was a headache that gradually got worse over the course of a week. And um, the headache eventually actually spread. It started in the back of my head and it started off like a normal migraine would. Um, it was hurting my eyes and whatnot, but then the pain actually spread down my entire back um, and my ribs and my legs and my shoulders. And it was really hard for me to even get out of bed in the morning just because I was in so much pain. I was throwing up um, from the pain and Tylenol, ibuprofen wouldn't work. I couldn't sleep. I was not hungry at all. Um, it was incredibly uncomfortable. And then right before I went into the ER, my entire left side of my body started tingling and became numb. And it, that was really odd because I could still move my limbs, but it was not, it, it was a, it was something that you knew your body shouldn't be doing. And then my eyes also, like I said, um, progressively over the course of that seven days leading up to me going into the ER, my vision got a lot worse. It became blurrier, um, at one point right before I went in, um, I believe it was my right eye was completely blacked out. It was really bad. So that brought me into the ER. I was lucky enough that when I was in the ER, my dad was with me. And in the ER, they kind of thought it was a migraine as well. Just because um, I'm 22, you wouldn't expect something like this to really happen. But they did a CT scan just to be sure. And when they looked at the CT scan, they saw a couple of different blood clots in my brain um, and that's how I was diagnosed and so I was able to go home that night but I was put immediately on a blood thinner called Xeralto and I was also put on another medication called acetazolamide and that helps decrease the pressure in your head um, and that was to help a lot with my eyesight just because they didn't want my eyes to get worse and Throughout all this, um, I had to really slow down for about two months. I took two months off of work. I get to go back to work on March 23rd of 2020. So about two months. Um, but it's just been a lot of really slowing down. And my family's been really awesome about helping me with everything. And I would say the biggest thing that was helpful for me with um, the healthcare professional professionals that I interacted throughout all this all my nurses and doctors, they all had awesome communication and collaboration. I, um, obviously I was in the ER. I saw my primary care provider. I saw a provider in vascular medicine. I see a neurologist and I see someone in ophthalmology. And so they all really are involved in my care and just making sure that they all collaborate together um, when talking about new medicines or should we do an MRI or CT to follow up has been really awesome. Um, and it takes a lot of stress away from me 
And then the other thing is just take your patient's pain seriously. Um, when I was in the ER, I was telling them I was having pain of 9 and 10. Like I, that week was just awful leading up to when I went in. And, but I was saying that without crying, I didn't look completely distressed because I was really trying to hold it together on the outside to make it seem like it wasn't as bad. Um, and on like the inside, I was like incredibly uncomfortable and in a ton of pain. Um, and so I think if, just take your patient's pain seriously. If they say they have pain, they probably do have pain. Um, and do whatever you can to like help them out with that. And I guess going forward from this, um, for treatment for me, I'm just going to stay on my medications that I'm on now. I get a follow-up MRI in six months in August. And um, yeah, my doctors are going to kind of make a plan from there. So just taking everything a day at a time, it does get better. Um, and just looking for the little positives and everything. So hopefully you guys learned something, though, about CVST. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the semester.